Okay, well, welcome to TopManhattanProperties.com. This is part four of adding a property listing to our website. This is going to be uh, basically the final segment of adding a property listing to your website, uh, to the website for, for yourself to advertise. We're going to show you how to add uh, pictures to the website, to the um, property that you're submitting. And I'm going to use now a property that has not been submitted to the website. So this is a draft property. Okay, and I just want to show you something on this. So if you watched the past couple tutorials, you know that you know all about all this information about how to start adding content and creating your Google excerpt and all sorts of different stuff. Um, if you are creating a property, a listing for a property in our website, and let's say you want to come back to it later on and finish it later on as you receive, let's say, more pictures that you're waiting for to come through or when you have more time to finish writing your dialogue you can come up here to where it says publish and click save draft um, we do have an automatic draft save in the in in our website um, but it only automatically saves the draft every I don't know 10 minutes or so um, I would definitely recommend if you know you're walking away from your computer and not coming back to it for another two hours um, click save draft and you could always come back to whatever you have under all properties and when you do that it'll come back and I'll show you here uh, it'll come back all properties and you can at least look at what you have that's not published um, and right here it says published here it says modified you know see so it says date the date you modified it um, just in case you need to refer back to that uh, so let's go and I'm just going to show you how to add some images real quick. I'm going to go down here all the way to the bottom to the last uh, blog block on the right hand side, featured image. We're going to go set featured image. It brings us to our media gallery. Um, we do have a tutorial on how to put images into your media gallery. Please watch that tutorial. Um, and that will show you how to do that. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to put a picture on the listing from your media gallery and also how to put a picture on your listing from your desktop if you don't already have the picture saved in the gallery because you do not have to save the pictures in the gallery. So let's click this one right here. We're going to come over. I'm just going to kind of move this over a little bit gonna come down we're gonna hit set featured image now that's gonna be our featured image and I'll show you what a featured image is in a minute um, that's actually the picture that follows the listing all around as being the main picture um, I think most of us might know what that is already so we set the featured image now notice you don't see anything here uh, because it's set as a featured image now we're going to click inside the website. You see the cursor? We move the cursor down. I always leave two space bars between the content and when I enter a picture in. I just do that because I like that space. It creates a little border. You don't have to do it, but I like to do that. Um, that's a good practice just to have a nice, you know, clear border to signify content to a picture. So we're going to add a picture over here. I'm going to go to add media. We're going to do one picture from the media gallery. Hey, let's pick, um, I don't know, let's pick a kitchen. There we go. I'm going to come over here. Now, this is not the featured image. So the featured image was already set. This is an image we're putting on the actual listing. So over here, you have, if you watch um, our media tutorial, please watch that. Um, I'm going to briefly go over it. Here's your picture size. 680 by 450. Um, we explained that in the first media tutorial. Um, that's the optimum size you want for a picture. Come down here. It's already preset to be placed in the center of the page. You can change that if you like, but if the picture is set to the optimum size, 680 by 450, it's only going to fit in one place in the center of the page. Um, and that's really where you want it because that will flow the best with all devices. Desktop, tablet smartphone that's why we do this over here you have the ability to 
resize the picture if you need. So you can click on full size and then you're going to hit insert into post. And here we go. And you see this is why we do it. You see here's your border up top and you have a nice little border down each side and it fits perfect inside inside your um, your listing. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a cursor over here. We're going to enter down. And we're going to go below our picture. Right over here. Actually, what we're going to do is let's go add another picture. Let's go up here, put the cursor up top. We're going to put the cursor up top and then scroll down. And what I like to do is I'm going to add another picture up here for you. And we're going to do this one right from the desktop. So over here we're on Media Gallery. You see your tab up top here. Over here on the left we're going to do Upload Files. You can go to Upload Files. You're going to go over to whatever file you have, whether the pictures aren't right on your desktop or in some kind of file folder. And you can just um, go right in there and let's pick a picture that looks decent, I guess. Um, yeah, drag it and drop it. Simple put, there it is. Now it's in your setup page for pictures. Same thing again. My pictures are already resized for 680 by 450. Um, you should be able to size your pictures. If you um, don't, I'm actually going to show you two ways you can do it. Uh, you can scroll down here. You have, like I showed before, you can choose here. If you can't choose there or you decide not to choose there, after you insert it into the post, and this is why it wasn't clicking before because I had it on um, picture resize, uh, we can come over here. Uh, let's bring this up. So I'm going to use, I clicked my cursor next to that picture, and I'm going to do delete, which is going to bring up the picture. Um, you know, a couple of spaces. And now if you like, this is part of what I was saying, where you can create your own listing. You can put content between the pictures if you like. Um, if you want the pictures one right after the other, or if you want to do a picture, and then under it, write about that picture, you know, a large, large living room, great views, you know, and then move to the next one, kitchen, you know, and under it, you can put a walk through kitchen uh, with a window in it, you know, something of that nature works fine. Another way you can size your picture, if you haven't seen this before, is just click on the border of the picture and you have your um, your uh, picture size and boxes and you can do it here too as well if you like as well. Uh, and then you can always click on this edit and it brings you up to an edit format if you like to do this as well. And you can scroll on your um, sizing here uh, which is basically done from before and you can click update and it updates the picture size. Now the one thing I want to show you is uh, once you're done with this um, I'm gonna come down here now you know pretty much we keep the pictures here I'm scrolling up I want to try and get my cursor down below this and what we can do Yeah, let's go up here. I'm going to show you something, actually. I want to do this quick. Um, actually, I'm going to take you to the other page and show you how you can add your um, contact information in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll off of this real quick. I'm going to go to all... We're going to come over here. Hang on a second. Stay on the page. I'm going to save the draft. Remember, like I said, we want to save the draft because I'm still playing with it. Um, and like I said, this isn't a point-and-click website, so you do have some, you know, technical stuff that you can play with in your updating. Over here, we're going to the listing that we had. I had already set up earlier. Um, here's our pictures. You know, I wrote in large living room here. Um, you can do this if you like. At the bottom, I put in 
well there's a little drip here that says you know this is the area where you can put your contact information over here you type in your name you type in your email address your phone number what this will be is this will be a one touch um, you know a click link from a smartphone or a tablet or anything where they can click on it and if this phone number will be automatic they'll go right to your phone so they'll be able to call you right from the listing um, and here is your email address so what I'm gonna do is I, I have I'm gonna set in just to show you um, I'm gonna do this all, all over again I'm gonna put in my email address Anthony Alfieri at Top Manhattan Properties dot com. Okay, so that's what I did, right? Now I entered it in. Now it's not a clickable link yet. I'm going to show you how to make it a clickable link. You're going to highlight it. You're going to come up to this button here. It says Insert Link. Click on that, and this is going to be automatic in front of your name mine's too long with with my uh, email address but in front of your name it has all everything that's needed to drive people right to your website right to your email hit add link and now it becomes a clickable link what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come over here I'm gonna hit update this property is already posted um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back we're gonna view property and you're going to view the property as if a um, somebody on the website was searching for it. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So now you can click on this. And it's going to bring people, depending on your browser and what you have set up, um, it's bringing me automatically right to my email. And it's set up instantly where I can just shoot my email right to the person and say, hey, um, I want to know more about this listing that you have. Um, but they're not going to have the email is not going to have the name of the listing or the address in it because um, it, it, we don't have the system set up that way but because uh, that does slow down when it has to create profile numbers and go back and forth between servers but they will be able to just quickly email you uh, directly we do not allow emails to come through our servers um, because that creates problems and things can get lost it goes directly to you and that's how you set up a direct link to your email um, please watch more tutorials to learn more about how to set up website how to set up your properties on our website um, I thank you for watching this one and you can always email us and we can help you out as you need thank you very much